Hello everyone, myself Dr. Aditya Gupta. Uh, I secured All India Rank 6 in AIPMT and All India Rank 10 in AIMS back in the year 2012. And in this video, I wanted to uh, tell all the NEET aspirants, be it their 11th standard or be it their 12th standard, what is the right way to read NCRT? So uh, we all know that the biology section, at least 90% of the questions or even 95% of the questions are going to be from NCRT. They'll be picked up from the lines of NCRT. That's what everyone keeps on repeating. And uh, if you want to score a 360 on 360 in biology, it's in fact easy because it's one of the subjects which pretty much most NEET aspirants do end up liking. So NCRT becomes extremely high yield books in that scenario. But there is a way to read NCRT to ensure that you get each and every question which is actually picked from NCRT correct. So what basically happens with most of the students is that they go to coaching. Um, it can be anyone. It can be your Alan, it can be Kash, it can be physics wala, it can be an academy or whatever it is. Uh, you go to coaching, you read the chapter with the, uh, so you, uh, the teacher will teach you the chapter, let's say they're teaching you human physiology, uh, they will make you write notes. Uh, what will happen is you'll read those, when you'll come back, you'll read those notes or you'll read the modules or something on those lines. After reading those modules, read NCRT and you'll actually, actually feel that NCRT has given lesser amount of material. Okay. You'll get, go through one reading of NCRT and after that you'll practice some MCQs. Uh, and then you will maybe again go back to NCRT, try to read it again, try to remem remember it again. But this is not the most efficient way to read NCRT in my opinion. And the way I'm going to suggest to you is a different, is a different way. The thing, do not think of NCRT just as a book, which is your textbook. Think of it as that every line that is given in NCRT is actually an answer to the question. But the questions have not been given in NCRT. This question is something which is you have to fill yourself. Every line or two, three lines of NCRT together are a question. Every because is an assertion and reason question in NCRT. Every example, uh, every statement which has an example, if it has two examples or three examples, they are potential questions in the form of those MCQ, which have four options. So NCRT is not asking you the question, but it is filled with the answer. And it becomes your job to make those questions out of NCRT while you're reading NCRT in an active way. And I'll give you an example. Let's take this very small paragraph of transport of gases. Blood is a medium to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide. We all know this. And then NCRT gives that 97% of the oxygen is transported by RBCs. Rest 3% is in dissolved state. As far as carbon dioxide is concerned, 20 to 25% is transported by RBCs. 70% is carried as bicarbonate and 7% is carried as dissolved state. This paragraph looks very small. This paragraph is just five lines. This paragraph is just filled with MCQs if you look at it. And this looking at it where while you're reading NCRT should be done in your mind by itself. Okay. That how, what are the questions that can be framed from this? Innumerable. Innumerable I can actually tell you. So they can ask you a question, which of the following is a false statement. So you should keep in mind which of the following is a false statement. They can, and they can give you all these percentages. 22 point, 20 to 25% of carbon dioxide is transported as bicarbonate. Rest all statements can be true. 7% is dissolved state, 97% of oxygen is RBC, 3% is dissolved state. These statements can be correct. And this 20 to 25% of carbon dioxide as bicarbonate will be the false statement. So you should imagine a question when you're reading this, you should imagine, okay, they can ask me a question like, what is the following is a false statement. They can ask you a mix and match, you know, of, uh, like, you know, match column A with column B, where here there will be oxygen and carbon dioxide, here will be percentages. Okay. They can ask you assertion reason from this, uh, like, uh, where they can give you an assertion as like, uh, uh, carbon dioxide is transported mostly in bicarbonate form and reason as Oxygen is transported mostly in uh, by RBCs. So assertion and reason both are correct, but they are not the explanation. So the answer will become two in the normal scenario. Okay, they can become, uh, they can give you uh, again uh, assertion and reason. Assertion will be blood is the medium for transport for oxygen and carbon dioxide. And the reason is blood has RBCs which transports oxygen and bicarbonate is used. So in this scenario, reason will become probably become a reason which is true for the assertion that has been given. Again, another assertion reason. So whenever you're reading NCRT, you think of NCRT as an answer bank. Okay. And you have to make the Q bank out of it. Okay. Uh, I, most of the people that I know and including myself, 
what they used to do is that after each and every line uh, after each reading each and every chapter of ncrt what i used to do i used to have a small notebook and in that notebook i used to write my own questions around 20 30 questions which i used to think were very high yield you can even do more maybe 100 maybe 150 or something on those line with each and every chapter mcq form question or question in which you think examiner can frame the question and the second thing that you have to very importantly do is you have to get into the examiner's head that how will he frame questions from ncrt and that is the reason previous year questions become extremely extremely important and you have to solve mcqs bio mcqs from previous year especially after 2008 2009 so ncrt changed just around 2006 2007 till that questions were from previous ncrt they will feel out of ncrt but they are not going to be repeated go for questions out of 2009 I what I used to do I was in 2012 मेरे टाइम पे सिर्फ दो या तीन साल हुए थे एन सी आर टी के जैसे क्वेश्चन आने के लिए आई यू टू सॉल्व केरला पी एम टी क्वेश्चन केरला पी एम टी वॉज थॉरली बेस्ड ऑन एन सी आर टी सो गेट इन टू द एग्जाम टू टू ट्राई टू गेट इन टू द एग्जाम एक्स हेड एंड हाउ हिल ही फ्रेम क्वेश्चन आई यू टू डू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम केरला पी एम टी ओके सो दिस इज द वे हाउ यू नीड एन सी आर टी एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर रिकॉर्ड देर बी वन स्पेसिफिक रिकमेंडेशन दैट आई गिव यू एंड एक्सेलेंट एक्सेलेंट ऐप नोन एज मेमोनीट And so what Memonite has done is that Memonite, in from each and every line of NCERT, you know, I said that you have to make questions out of NCERT. They have done it for you in the form of this app. A very genuine recommendation, which I have done for uh, past, I think nine months, I have been recommending this app. It's a really, really nice app. If you do have the money and if you do have the uh, opportunity to get this app, do definitely get this app. I did not have the opportunity. Uh, you guys are lucky, actually, in this regard. from each and every line of ncrt they have picked up and made question so that your mcq practice becomes easier so that you are able to remember ncrt line by line okay uh, and i'll give you a glimpse of how the app works just right now so this is the memonet app as you can see they have questions all from physics as well biology and chemistry but especially for the biology and chemistry part so let's go to the biology section they have divided questions every question from uh, you know uh, chapter wise and uh, you can check the free portion of the app immediately uh, to see how well they have actually framed question from each and every line of ncrt let's say i go to body fluids and circulation and let's say let's do blood and plasma blood is a Skeletal muscle tissue, smooth muscle tissue, fat tissue, connective tissue. You realize if you actually do the chapter, the answer written here is it's a connective tissue. Check, and then they will give you an explanation also that it's a special connective tissue consisting of fluid matrix, plasma, and formed element. That exact line of NCERT from where they have the like picked up the question. Blood consists of so we saw that line of NCERT clearly mentioned that blood consists of fluid matrix, plasma, and formed element. So answer here will be all of these. So this way you can actually practice your NCERT and how much knowledge of your NCERT is there in the form of MCQs, right? So and again, like I said, really good app, recommended it for everyone. So not just for biology, you would know that uh, for chemistry as well, from each and every line, especially as far as inorganic and organic chemistry is concerned, you should do NCERT thoroughly. And Memory not just for biology, also for chemistry has these line by line MCQs which will immensely help you. Uh, you can use my code Sanjay twenty to get a twenty percent discount on their app. At the same point of time, I'll recommend every student that whenever you are reading NCERT, get into the habit of thinking and framing questions yourself, and then using apps like Memonet and previous year questions, uh, especially after two thousand nine, two thousand ten, to get into the examiner's head and how MCQs can be framed from that single small book of NCERT. Thank you, and have a nice day.